So this question involves um, planning a party, 70 children, and they're going to give a child a party bag to take home. They're going to put a hat and a toy in each bag. So each bag will contain both things. Uh, the party bags are sold in bags of 12. Uh, hats are sold in eight, and toys are sold in nine. What the minimum number, so the smallest number. So in other words, we're trying to make sure we don't spend more money than what we need to. It's a good idea. So she can fill more party bags than she needs. How many more? Okay, so we're going to look at the combinations here. We've got 12, 8, and 9. So basically, we're looking at packing for 70 children. So we need at least 70 of the hats. So we go through the 8 times table. Uh, 8, 16, 24. And we work our way along. Uh, we get to 72. So that's the smallest number of hats we'd have to buy to allow us to get the 70. Let's have a look at the 9 times table. So 9, 18, 27, and 72 again appears in that one. So and the 12 times table, because we're going to buy the bags as well, the party bags, so 12, 24, 36, and then we work our way through, and yep, 72 appears again. So the lowest common multiple of all of those numbers, to make sure that we can do everything we need to, there's enough um, hats, so again, let's be clear what we're doing here, so this was hats, this was toys, and this was bags. So we need to make sure we had enough for doing 70 children, and 72 hats would allow us to do that. 72 toys and 72 bags. So how many um, does she need? Well, there's two extra, isn't there? Because 72 take away 70 is going to be two extra. So she's got two left next year. Hopefully, so you hope the toys and that don't go out of date. Okie dokie. That's how you can do a lowest common multiple type problem um, by listing out the multiples of each of the numbers until you find what's the smallest one that's common to all.